Lawmakers are already working on a solution to labor shortages for farmers. Sarah Mock has those details from the nation's capital. Whether you're milking cows or picking produce, farmers struggle to find enough workers to staff their operations. Most of the fruits and vegetables we produce, the biggest volume, the largest volume, comes out of the heartland. And what we, you know, throughout the years, we didn't have access to a urban population of, of ag farm workers. So we had to participate in the H-2A program. Members of the House Judiciary Committee floated two very different solutions to ag's labor problem. Chairman Goodlot proposed what he called an H-2C program. This bill would replace the H-2A program with a new program that provides growers with streamlined access to guest workers and enables dairies and food processors to participate. The bill would assure a reliable workforce by creating a program that is market-driven and adaptable. It will not require growers to provide free housing and transportation or pay an unrealistic or uncompetitive wage rate. Another proposal would instead incentivize workers to choose farm jobs. Allow farm workers, professional farm workers who've worked 100 days in the previous two years to earn legal status. Congressman Gutierrez has a bill that does that, H.R. 2690, and there's over 50 co-sponsors. Gutierrez's proposal would offer farm workers a blue card, a path to entering the legal labor pool, which advocates say should protect workers as well as farmers concerned about immigration audits. The American Farm Bureau is concerned that this could cause workers to leave agriculture. But the congressman argues that his proposal is about more than just finding hands to work on farms. It's about respect. Ms. Fry, do you have workers that return to you year in and year out to come and work your fields? Every year for the past 15 years. So they come, they work legally under, under the Correct. program, leave, and then come back to do the crops the next year. That's accurate. You look forward to them coming back. I do. Do you see them as some, you see them as farmers? I see them as farmers and I see them as family. While these two bills are being considered in the House, senators recently adjusted the H-2A visa program through what many consider a back channel by amending an ag appropriations bill to broaden application qualifications and remove the requirement that work be short term under the program. For RFD TV, Sarah Mock, Washington. And according to the National Center for Farm Worker Health, there are more than 3 million migrant farm workers in the U.S. And experts say about 50% are in the U.S. legally.